Welcome to the sixth episode of my book club. So in、uh, today's episode, I'm going to actually recommend two books.、Uh, they are both from the same author, Ryan Sleeper. And、uh, Ryan Sleeper is the founder and principal of、uh, a company called Playfair Data, and he's、uh, a Zen master、uh, in terms of the tab- Tableau.、Uh, so today's two books are all about、uh, using、uh, Tableau to Do better visualization, and we have talked about visualization back in episode four.、Uh, but it turns out、uh, gets a lot of interest from、uh, from our audience. So、uh, I just continue this step.、Uh, so today's first book is、uh, Practical Tableau by Ryan Sleeper.、Uh, it's published back in two thousand eighteen, and the second book is called Innovative Tableau, and is. Just published、uh, in May, twenty、uh, twenty. So actually, this book was in、uh, early release,、uh, one of the new features、uh, on the O'Reilly Learning Platform. And you can see, like even when、uh, it's only been a month since since it's published, getting like ten five star reviews here. So、uh, you can see why I'm recommending these two books.、Um, so. Uh, today's format is a little bit different. I'm going. I'm not going to go through all the you know the fundamentals and the chart types and the good tips and tricks from the Ryan Ryan here. I'm just going to pick、uh, you know basically three、uh, very good charts from each of the book、uh, because once you see a new chart, you immediately know where to put them、uh, on your say like slides or dashboards. Uh, so these are all based from my personal experience.、Uh, so let's start from the first book. So the first book is、uh, also starts from、uh, his top five tips,、uh, and also some basics、uh, from using Tableau, and then goes on introducing a lot of the like, key features in Tableau, all the basic chart types. So that's why it's called practical, right? When you are doing actual Tableau work, these are very practical knowledge. Uh, to be uh, to be a better data visualization, and also you know the very good、uh, visualization tips, how to you know compile and use different chart types,、um, so、uh, very good reading. Uh, spend uh, I rec- highly recommend, and so the first step、uh, of the chart I'm going to introduce is the Pareto chart. So this is probably one of my favorite thing because we talk about. You know, getting insight from data a lot, and、uh, the the most、uh, often used concept is you know, not every customer is created equal. So we often try to、uh, tell our audience, you know, who are our key customers, right? So, or what are the key products we are selling? So using this kind of parallel chart, which basically follows the you know the twenty eighty percent the principle. We we only need to focus on the key products here. You see the binders and the papers and the phones, and you can see following the chart. I would say it would be better if you can add a line here. You know, marking you know the eighty percent or the sixty percent, so you can、uh, tell the decision makers. You know, what are the you know key four or five products we really need to focus on?、Uh, these are the long tail products. You know, you know, we just need to follow. Some a general、uh, general rules, so these are the fir- This is the first key chart I want to let you know. It's on I think it's chapter、uh, section you know forty two,、uh, and also we'll go on to tell you, you know how to create this chart from the、uh, superstore sample data, which is also available when you install the Tableau software. Okay, that's the first one, and the second one is called autofill chart. Autofill chart is very useful when you are. Um, kind of、um, helps you understand, you know, what are the key components across different、uh, different sections, different segments, and it gives a very good, you know, that's why it's a very good visualization because you can see the, you know, different components, how it matches to each other, or you can even show the negative ones. This is one of the good good things to know when you are calculating, say. Uh, margins, right?、Uh, sometimes you know you have the positive ones and you have the negative ones, and you can check out how to make this order for chart in I think section thirty-seven. And the third one is the funnel chart. 
uh, I'd say uh, in terms of Tableau itself, it is really um, not that uh, convenient to make something like a funnel chart. Um, probably in you know later versions they will uh, build this in, but uh, the key thing is always you know tell a good story, and if you have a good data, say you want to see uh, a funnel because funnel visualization is very useful when you are talking about uh, a basic customer from you know uh, from users to first time purchasers and then f uh, to loyal customers, right? You want to show that and you. Uh, need certain level of the data to make that work. So it uh, takes a little bit more, more efforts, but if you want to give a visu good visualization of that particular conversion funnel, uh, you can do it in Tableau, right? Okay, and that's uh, basically the three, I think, very useful charts uh, in the first book, uh, Practical Tableau. And in the just recently uh, published um, Innovative Tableau, uh, Ryan goes on to introduce uh, something I would say uh, more fancy, you know, how to make charming cross tabs and, you know, very good highlight tab tables. And more importantly, we have seen some very good new chart, including the ones I'm going to introduce here. So the first one is making a dual axis for waterfall charts. You see here is the very beautiful. Uh, uh, basically like a waterfall charts uh, telling you uh, the different changes uh, you ex experience in the uh, I think is the uh, uh, some kind of like a, a clock clock visualization okay so yeah uh, you can spend a little bit more time on that uh, going from the uh, uh, the basic data and to different making it like a, a bar charts and then Go on to uh, do it in a for uh, in a do access for uh, waterfall charts. Uh, Ryan gives a very good uh, explanation on how to do that step by step. Okay, that's the first one. And second one is the range dot plus. This is kind of visualization when you see it, you immediately like it, right? You can clearly see it's like uh, it's like a much better looking of the say box plot chart, right? You have the whole range here for different regions, and then you have a very good dot to show you say the mean value. This is just you know uh, in a better visualization in terms of the you know uh, the simplest of the charts and what it can be used for, right? And the third one is the. Uh, is to create this what we call the leapfrog charts. You know, sometimes you want to show uh, the progress or the difference, right? You you have one, um, say basically two data points, in say a, a specific segments or specific time, and just want to show you know what's the difference between one and another. And this kind of leapfrog charts is very useful, very useful for that. I think it's uh, corresponds to the old dumb dumbbell charts, but it's just a little bit more good looking here. So uh, again, you can follow the steps uh, using this data and to make go through all the way uh, to complete this uh, very good in good looking charts. Okay, so that's basically uh, six charts I was uh, to share with you all. Uh, and again, uh, read the book and since it's a very hands-on, requires very hands-on work, I strongly suggest not just reading them and downloading the data and follow the steps and make it work. I created that same key charts uh, following, I think, an online instruction and a lot of issues you, you will not encounter unless you start working on them. So uh, good luck and uh, keep safe and enjoy your time with Tableau. Thank you.